Welcome back for Volume 3 of our International Harvester Archive Series. These wonderful promotional and information films from America and the UK feature tractors and machinery produced by this iconic company. While they were just as well known for their heavy construction equipment, the films in this volume concentrate on the agricultural side of their business, particularly tractors, axial flow combine harvesters and balers. In the 1970s, farmers were just as demanding of quality equipment as they are now, and this film illustrates how International Harvester was coping with and exceeding those demands. The tractor range to deal with this huge expectation is the 85 series, featuring four-wheel drive. The film also highlights their excellent, well-equipped, nationwide maintenance and after-sales service facilities designed to minimize unproductive downtime. This is one of the most recognized information films to be produced by the company here in the UK. So sit back and enjoy this outstanding film, More Strength to Your Farm. Ron Knight is a very successful farming contractor, but there's one day a year when, no matter what happens, he won't take on work. When that day arrives, he leaves his equipment standing idle and goes off to enjoy the things which interest him most. With the help of his friends, Ron restores old farm equipment. Though the engines aren't exactly turbocharged, with plenty of coaxing and encouraging words from everyone, it doesn't take long to get them to work. A few of the companies which made the great tractors of the past are still with us, and they're still supplying tractors to people who, though they'd be reluctant to admit it, obviously know what farming is all about. Today, old tractors are fun to look at, but it can't have been fun relying on this for everyday work. At the end of the day, there was so little to show, or so much effort. Today, successful farmers are much more demanding. Today, Ron uses international tractors to do all the work on three different farms, and every year he shares a profit. His genuine enthusiasm for international equipment is based on experience, and it's shared by successful farmers all over Britain. People like Ernest Coulthard, who runs this 140-acre farm near Carlisle. He's used international tractors for years. Perhaps you remember all this. Today, it's history. But not that long ago, it was the last word in mechanization. Of course, mechanized farming began long before this. It was over 150 years ago that an American, Cyrus Hall McCormick, invented the first commercially successful harvesting machine. The company he founded is still with us, and it's still a world leader in harvesting equipment.
When axial flow combines were first introduced in the United States in 1977, the Americans, who were always quick to spot a winner, lost no time in singing their praises. A combine of the future that'll start paying off for you right now, as soon as your next harvest, that'll give you a far better return on your investments in crops and machinery than you've ever enjoyed before. Perhaps you feel you've heard all that before. In the Midwest American states, it's obviously blue skies and efficiency all the way. But what about Europe? Here, conditions are different. But as many European farmers have already discovered, axial flow is an entirely new concept with real advantages. So let's see what the new combines can achieve in European conditions.